know that Salesforce developers are in high demand and often command higher salaries for their expertise? It's true. Companies worldwide are seeking skilled professionals to customize and optimize their Salesforce environments. So if you're looking to step into a lucrative field, you are in the right place. So let's dive into our mock Salesforce developer interview. Whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting your journey, these questions will help you prepare for that crucial interview. Let's get started. Can you briefly explain what Salesforce is? Salesforce is a cloud-based customer relationship management CRM platform designed to help companies manage their sales, service, marketing, and more efficiently. It provides a unified interface for businesses to connect with their customers and streamline various processes. Great! Now, what is Apex and how is it used in Salesforce development? Apex is a programming language specific to the Salesforce platform. It allows developers to add business logic to their applications, including triggers, controllers, and classes. It's essential for customizing and extending Salesforce capability. Excellent explanation. Moving on, what is a trigger in Salesforce? A Salesforce trigger is Apex code that executes before or after operations like insert, update, delete, merge, upsert, and undelete. They can be defined for standard and custom objects. Now, let's talk about Visual Force. What role does Visual Force play in Salesforce development? Visual Force is a markup language in Salesforce for crafting customer user interfaces. Similar to HTML, it lets developers build pages, components, and email templates interacting with Salesforce data. It offers built-in elements like input fields and charts, and developers can create custom components using Apex and JavaScript. Visual Force pages are made through a drag-and-drop interface easily embedded into Salesforce applications or accessed via custom URLs. That makes sense. What are governor limits in Salesforce and why are they important? Governor limits are runtime constraints enforced by the Salesforce platform to ensure efficient resource usage. They prevent infinite loops, excessive database queries, and other actions that could impact performance. Adhering to these limits is crucial for maintaining a stable and scalable system. That's very informative. Now, can you explain on the difference between SOQL and SOSL in Salesforce? SOQL or Salesforce Object Query Language is used to query Salesforce records to retrieve specific data. On the other hand, SOSL or Salesforce Object Search Language is designed for full-text searches across multiple objects, allowing for more flexible and comprehensive searches. Got it. Moving on, could you shed us some light on Lightning Component Framework the Lightning Component Framework is a UI framework for developing dynamic web apps for mobile and desktop devices. It includes a set of pre-built components and tools, making it easier for developers to create responsive and scalable applications within the Salesforce environment. That's fascinating. Now, what is the role of Salesforce DX in the development process? Salesforce DX or Developer Experience it is, a, is a set of tools and features designed to enhance the development lifecycle on the Salesforce platform. It facilitates collaboration, version control, and continuous integration, making it easier for developers to build and release high-quality applications. Good answer. Moving on, how would you handle bulk data load in Salesforce? To handle bulk data load, I would use tools like Data Loader or utilize the Bulk API. These tools allow for efficient insertion, updating, upserting, or deletion of large volumes of data in Salesforce, ensuring optimal performance. Very practical approach. Our final question. Can you explain what Salesforce App Exchange is? The Salesforce App Exchange is a marketplace where Salesforce users can find, try, 
and install applications built by various developers. It is a hub for extending Salesforce functionality, offering a wide range of apps, components, and services that can enhance the Salesforce experience. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your Salesforce developer interview. If you have any questions or if there is a specific topic you would like us to cover in future videos, feel free to let us know in the comments below.